Gearbest have sent me a G10. Basically, I thought it was a Tigger's RC review hex. It just looks so awesome in the orange and black stripes. So I assumed it was going to be called Tigger at least, if not Tiger. And it's called Cheetah. It don't look anything like a cheetah, I don't think. Anyway, on to the review. The, uh, this is the uh, GTENG T907W, which means it's got Wi-Fi on it as well. Uh, it does come with a transmitter as well, from what I can gather, uh, but you can control it on your phone as well, and I'll be going through that as we go through the review. It's a cool little box. I think it's going to be a cool little quad, actually. Yeah, a little hex, sorry. I'll probably call it a quad all the way through. The box is very bright orange, uh, so you can tell why I'm so excited about it and uh, all your usual warnings and everything are on it. It's well packaged actually, it feels really nice and it's got all the different sort of uh, ways of charging it. Uh, Jiteng uh, seem to do this by you know in-car charging, on a computer, a power bank or uh, cell phone charging, so mains adapter basically for the USB. So I think it's really nice to point that out. And then on the back it's got a beautiful picture which it would be lovely if we could replicate and then quick run through the actual transmitter so we do get a transmitter with it as well. So that's the cardboard out of the way and GTEN tend to be very good with their packaging. I think it's sort of minimal packaging uh, but it's maximum protection that's what I really like. Uh, it's got the instructions there uh, which I'll run through and I'll let you know my views on those in a minute. And then the actual packaging, like I say, there's no sort of extra covers or anything. And it just seems to work actually, nothing's damaged which is brilliant. You've got the actual uh, hex in here which is a really smart looking. Uh, it's a cool looking uh, little hex, fully assembled. And it's got, uh, as I've found with the other G10 that I've had, is you can actually alter the angle of the camera. So that's that's rather good. You have to do that before takeoff, obviously. And uh, the the quad, uh, the hex, sorry, it looks as though it's pretty resilient. Actually, it's quite it's quite a tough little WhatsApp. And then onto the actual transmitter itself. And that uh, feels quite nice in the hand. Everything's obviously um, sort of plastic. And I would imagine this would suit thumbers or pinchers, uh, but mostly thumbers, I would say. And then if we pop this bit up here, oh, with the clicky clicks, um, you can then put your phone on here. So you can fly it with the FPV or without the FPV, which is rather nice. And I'll run through all the functions on the transmitter as we go through the review. The last thing in the box is the box of spares and also the charger for the battery. The, the charger's a USB uh, adapter, as I said earlier, and it comes complete with a uh, with the complete set of six replacement props, and you get the obligatory a little small Phillips screwdriver. The battery that comes assembled into the hex is actually a 500 milliamp hour, and it's a single cell. So I'll get that on charge, and let's have a look at the instructions. So you've got the battery on charge. Always a time, good time, I think, to have a go through the uh, instruction manual. And this is my second Jiteng, and their manuals are awesome. Uh, I think they're really well done, well laid out, lovely and clear, um, with the instructions and everything. I'm pretty sure they're written by somebody who's English. I don't think it's translated from Chinese to English uh, using Google or anything so uh, totally impressive uh, the whole layout's good as well if you're new to flying it will take you through what everything does as well and uh, yeah just really well laid out yeah brilliant they really do make very good manuals okay there's no power switch with the uh, hex itself you just simply connect up the battery and then it's live and you get the flash and LEDs normally you tuck the cable out of the way but I don't really need to for this I'm just going to show you how the transmitter works then flick on your transmitter and as you can see we get a flash and LED here to bind it to the hex up and down on the throttle and you s the LEDs now become solid and this LED goes solid as well the um, to run through uh, the controls First of all, we need to uh, calibrate the accelerometer, always a good idea, and that's bring it down both to the left, and as you saw, flashing LEDs, and then it stops. Uh, to get it ready for flight, you've got a couple of options on GTENGs. Uh, this is just the way they do it. You can pull it down and in. Oh, we've got a, that's better. Uh, that's not done that before. <laughs> uh, and uh, to stop it, you can go either out or in. It really doesn't matter, so you can start, and then stop so no trouble at all don't quite know what happened there but never mind it'll be fine i'm sure the um 
And then to auto take off, you simply press this one, but it has to be ticking over on the motors for you to do that. It has to be armed, basically. And this is your auto land one as well. The other way of landing is basically bring it in, obviously down with the throttle. Once it touches the ground, after a couple of seconds of being on the ground, it will kill them, uh, the motors anyway. Uh, this button is uh, one quick press and it will start to return to home and it will flash. It won't do it now because it's it's not flying basically. Um, it, and the LEDs flash on the actual hex as well. And if you hold that down for a while, uh, it'll then go into uh, headless mode. So you can start using it in, in headless mode. You get flashing LEDs again. And so um, it, it gives you warnings and instructions that you're, something's happening all the time. And uh, these are trims and this one here is used for the actual uh, camera and uh, but on my particular one it doesn't have any onboard storage it's just purely a camera and it uses the Wi-Fi to the phone and the phone stores it and I'm going to show you that in a second. The uh, To change the rates it starts in intermediate rates or middle rates uh, which is quite unusual actually uh, it's the only manufacturer I know that does that but to take it up into high rates press this and it goes beep 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 three times you're in high for three and it's cyclical so press this and it goes round to one uh, I, if you're new to flying I would start in one so I'd click it a couple of times before you even take off and then it'll be nice and gentle then you can gradually increase the rates as you uh, start to uh, fly a bit more confidently uh, if you want it to flip you simply press this one and you get a beep 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 all the time as you can see well um, and then you choose whatever direction forward backwards right or left uh, to flip and uh, that's basically it let me put my phone on uh, and then you can have a look and I can explain how the Wi-Fi works okay so we're still connected to the hex as you can see there's no flashing LEDs you need to download the uh, uh, Gteng uh, app uh, it's either Android or Apple and then uh, before you go into that because the hex is on you should have that in your Wi-Fi settings here so let me just go in there and I'll show you where they are into Wi-Fi and I'm already connected once you've connected to it once it remembers it and it will connect to it as soon as you turn your hex on so it's, it's great once you've done it the first time launch the app I'm not going to go right the way through the app because it's quite there's quite a lot on it actually and uh, if you want to use the app it, it's pretty self-explanatory actually uh, go into VGA because it's only a VGA camera and there we go we're away if you're going to use this to fly I would turn this off obviously and you would just turn on the hex set it all up on here this becomes your throttle your pitch and your roll um, so you can you know you're, you're flying as if you were flying on here uh, to turn these off you simply press that and if you want to uh, auto take up, auto take off when it's on, sorry, you simply press this one, press that, and then it would auto take off, auto land, and that's the stop button, the kill button, basically. So let's just turn those off. That's how I would normally fly, using it as FPV. If you want to take a photograph, uh, you have to press this one, and it uh, does a little camera sound. Uh, if you want to record video, you simply press this one, and it will start recording video. Uh, remember, it stores nothing on the actual. Uh, hex itself it, everything is stored on your phone and that's basically how the app works and it works really well i'm quite impressed with it let's just calibrate it there we go so you bring them down and across and that calibrates it and then we're off and then you should auto lift with this one if you press this one here and it does yeah that's good <laughs> hey that altitude hold works really well a lot better than most. I do love the colours. <laughs> There's a surprise there. Uh, right, so let's start the video and just see how we get on video wise. Yeah, it's quite a nice little flyer, I must admit. Where it's a dull day, those LEDs are working quite well, but in the if it's bright, I don't think they will at all. They, they, they will be quite dull. So let's try a flip. Whoa! <laughs> hmm. Well, it sort of does it, but it has a little bit of a move around, doesn't it? That's, uh, that's fair enough. Which I think I could do with. I don't know if it needs trimming or not. No, it's definitely. Uh, it's still. It's a slight breeze blowing it, I think, rather than it being the trim. Okay, so let's take it up in rates. And that takes it up into high rates. So it starts in medium rates, which 
the Jitangs uh, tend to do actually. I don't quite know why. Whoa! Actually, high rates is pretty damn good fun actually, to be fair enough. That is pretty good. I am quite impressed with that. And it's very controllable. Yeah, nice. That is very cool. Okay, let's try headless mode. There we go, so it's in headless. Right, definitely headless. Ah. So let's turn it off. And we had flashing LEDs when it was in headless. That's the same button for return to home. There we go. Whoop. And it will just sort of go <laughs> roughly in the direction of home. Let's just put that in low rates. There we go, that's low rates. Press it and then it's just coming back as you can see. And we've got flashing LEDs to warn us that it's in a return to home. And that's low rates, so where it started in medium rates. Now I can show you what low rates looks like. Pretty low actually, but nice if you're new to flying. That would be a very cool thing to be doing. Yeah, very nice. That is very cool. I'm going to stop the video and then I'm going to just take a still photograph. That FPV is working well actually, I'm quite impressed. Now let's just take a couple of photographs. Uh, just do a quick range test. Let's put the video back on. It's always nice to have a bit of video, isn't it? And it's going to use a little bit more battery, I presume. So that's going to be well over. Well, just about, that's 20, getting on to 30 meters there. Let me just up the rates of it. Yeah, that's best. That is definitely 30 meters that far out. Easy, yeah. Oh, that's, yeah. Slight bit of break up. Not a lot. Not a lot at all. Oh, that's pretty good. No, that's holding really well. I don't know if you can see that, but it certainly is. Well, it's good. That's a good 30, well, I would say best part of 40 metres there. I'm almost uh, uh, could head out for the 50 metres, I reckon. Whoa, I do like the way it flies. And the um, control is really nice on the, uh, uh, even in higher rates, it's good. So let's try the auto land. Whoa. You can still guide it. That's it. As in steer it, well, yeah, auto land's never particularly good on grass, as you can see. <laughs> yeah. I forget, it's so quiet when it's in mode. But takeoff's fine. Um, and if I bring it in, there's, uh, if you press both of these, it will actually kill the throttle totally. Like that. Oops, I thought it was supposed to kill it. Oh, well, <laughs> obviously it doesn't. <laughs> No, no, it doesn't kill it. That's interesting because it said it did. It seems to put it into uh, auto land again. So we've got flashing LEDs, so I think we're more or less at the end of our battery here. But that has been good fun. Uh, let me just stop that uh, video, otherwise, it could corrupt the end of it. That's up in high rate, so I'll just give it a last little whiz around if it will let me. Well, yeah, it will. <laughs> Yeah, those, I think that battery is getting quite tired. Well, that is very good. I like it. It's good fun. So that's your in high rates, and that's in low rates, and that's in medium rates. Oh, no, the wrong one. That's better. So that's low rates. Wow, that is low, isn't it? <laughs> that's medium rates. Oh, there we go. And the battery is gone. So what do we think of this Tigger imposter coming onto our channel? Uh, he's got the orange and he's got the black stripe. So uh, he's, he's made a good effort at being a Tigger. And actually it bounced quite well a couple of times. I had a little, um, I, I tested out the landing gear as we say, and it did really well actually. It's, uh, it's quite a robust little uh, hex and good fun to fly. Slight criticism of it on it is the LEDs aren't the brightest, um, but that's not um, unusual to be perfectly honest. It wouldn't sort of put me off it. Uh, indoor nighttime flying, it actually, you can actually see them quite clearly. So, so, uh, but outside in bright light, obviously not. But you, you'd have a job to miss this hex, to be honest.
The uh, if the altitude hold worked really well and uh, they're getting better at that on the smaller models and this one flew really well with it. Uh, sometimes they're an absolute pain to use because they hunt around all over the place but this didn't so I was pleased with that. So nice little fly. Uh, the camera worked pretty well. I was quite impressed with it actually and the FPV working sort of up to 50 meters and it was it was quite clear on my uh, phone screen so I was yeah I was impressed with that. That's, that's good they're getting better on that as well. The uh, actual transmitter itself was nice it's nice and sort of fits nicely in your hand definitely clicks when you're clicking things which I always like and uh, it, it worked really well and if you were into flying with apps the apps work, app works very well indeed loads of features on it and uh, but it's just not I just can't fly with apps I just find the thumb thing really doesn't work for me I have to come back to a transmitter so very pleased you've got oh, yeah. two options I really like it nice little hex mm -hmm.